Prey 2017 was developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. I mean, that's where it was eventually developed, but Prey has had a really weird journey to make it to release this year. If you didn't already know, Prey 2017 is supposed to be a reimagining or a reboot of the Prey from 2006. However, the only thing the two games actually have in common is they're both first-person shooters and they're sci-fi based. You may remember that in 2006, after the original Prey was released and it was pretty successful, Prey 2 was announced immediately, and it was supposed to be a direct sequel to the original. Human Head Studios, the developer behind the original Prey, was still behind this new sequel. The idea for the story was that Tommy, the hero from the first Prey, would leave Earth as he was blamed for the disappearance of his family and his girlfriend, even though we all know it was actually the aliens. This sequel was meant to be a lot like the first game. Over the years, though, the license for Prey changed hands from 3D Realms until it finally found itself at ZeniMax Media in 2009. In the hands of ZeniMax Media, the game was re-announced under the Bethesda Softworks umbrella in 2011, for release in 2012. From the screenshots and trailers, Prey 2 looked entirely different from the first game. I remember seeing this trailer at the time and being pretty interested in seeing what the game would eventually turn into. Your role in Prey 2 was that of a bounty hunter and I guess you were supposed to meet up with Tommy later on in the game. After a few years of silence, we fast forward to 2014, and Bethesda would officially cancel Prey 2, citing that the game was not meeting expectations. Though rumors were saying that the game had been abandoned since 2012. At this point, no one really knew what to think, as the game looked to be pretty far along. Fast forward yet again to E3 2016, and during the event it was announced by Bethesda that a reboot of Prey would be coming out developed by Arcane Studios, the company behind the Dishonored series. Being it was a completely different development house, this looked to be a completely different looking game from what Human Head Studios was creating, and it didn't look like it was going to feature Tommy at all. I think it's safe to say that many people were confused by this announcement, but the game did look promising. So here we are, it's 2017 and the game is now available. After all of this rigmarole 11 years after the original game's release, you might think that the game would be a directionless mess. While this isn't actually the case, and the game has been a decently received reboot of the original, the fact that the game has the name Prey is very perplexing to me. Considering this new game is completely different from the original game, it really deserves to be its own franchise. But then again, if the game didn't have this title, I guess we may not be talking about it as much as we are now. Now you know the long and rocky development history of Prey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on GGRC. Thanks for watching, everybody. Of course, you can also check out all the other episodes of GGRC, or even check out my other show, The Quake Grave, where I play through all kinds of different Quake maps and mods. Enjoy!